powerhouse. The powerhouse, which consists of turbines, generators and transformers, has been constructed at the toe of an intake embankment at the ground surface elevation of 865 feet SPD. The water to the powerhouse is supplied through five steel line tunnels of 30 26 feet diameter. Each tunnel is designed to feed two generating units. The powerhouse tail rest discharges into New Bong Canal, which has a length of 25,000 feet with discharge capacity of about 49,000 cusex, and terminates at an automatic gate control headworks at about 12 kilometers downstream located near Old Bong Escape Headworks. A view of turbine relief valve operation at Mongla Powerhouse. There are 10 vertical Francis type turbines in the powerhouse. Each of these turbines has an output of 138,000 bhp with a rated head of 295 feet of water. The first four turbines were manufactured by Mitsubishi Electric, Japan and were installed in 1969. Turbines 5 and 6 are manufactured by CKD Blonsko, Czech Republic and were installed in 1974. Turbines 7 to 8 were manufactured by ASIC. Belgium and were installed in 1981, while the remaining two turbines are make of Skoda, Czech Republic and were commissioned in 1994. These turbines are connected to umbrella-type generators which have a generation capacity of 100 MW. Hitachi, Japan had provided generators for turbines 1 to 4 and 7 to 8 while Skoda generators are connected to turbines 5 to 6 and 9 to 10. These generators are in turn connected to three-phase transformers. The transformers connected to turbine 1, 4 and 7 were manufactured by the Italy-based Savi Liano. The transformers for turbine 5 and 6 are a make of Italtrafo, another Italian company, while the remaining five transformers were provided by Skoda. Displacement and Resettlement the government of Pakistan had agreed to pay royalties to the government of AJK, Azad Jammu and Kashmir, for the use of the water and electricity generated by the dam. Over 280 villages and the towns of Mirpur and Dadyal were submerged and over 110,000 people were displaced from the area as a result of the dam being built. Some of those affected by the dam were given work permits for Britain by the government of Pakistan, and as a result, in many cities in the UK the majority of the Pakistani community originates from the Dadyal Mirpur area of Azad Kashmir. There are 747,000 Mirpurs in the United Kingdom, and the British Mirpuri community forms about 70% of the British Pakistani community. The percentage is greater in northern cities and towns. In Bradford, an industrial town in northwest England, it is estimated that roughly three-quarters of the population is from Mirpur, with a sizable population also in Birmingham. At the time, many took up work in the textile and steel mills, due to the acute shortage of workers in England. Operation The project was designed primarily to increase the amount of water that could be used for irrigation from the flow of the Jhelum and its tributaries. Its secondary function was to generate electrical power from the irrigation releases at the artificial head of the reservoir. The project, though not initially designed as one, also works as a flood control structure by retaining water during the flood-prone season of monsoon. On December 5, 1971, the dam was damaged due to a bombing raid conducted by the Indian Air Force during the Indo-Pakistani War of 1971. This was against the international convention that large water reservoirs would not be targeted in war. As a consequence, the hydro project was temporarily out of service. From the data available in 2009, the project had generated 183.551 billion units of low-cost tidal energy since its commissioning. The annual generation during 2008 to 2009 was 4,797.425 million kWh while the station shared a peak load of 1,150 MW which was 8.18% of the total WAPTA system peak. On September 1, 2013, the water level in Mongla Dam reached to a record height of 1,237.15 feet against the maximum conservation level of 1,242 feet. 
Radio Pakistan reported that the water level in Mangla Dam has attained maximum height of 1,237.15 feet in the history and it is still increasing. Mangla Dam Raising Project Mangla Reservoir had an initial reservoir capacity of 5.88 million acre feet, MAF, which reduced to 4.674 MAF in 2005 due to the sedimentation and was likely to reduce further. To counteract this phenomenon, the Mangla Dam Raising Project was started in 2004 and the main dam, spillway and its allied works were completed in 2009 at a cost of 101.384 billion rupees. This project effectively raised the dam height by 30 feet to 482 feet, 147 meters, thereby raising the maximum water conservation level from 1202 feet to 1242 feet. This increased the dam storage capacity by an additional 2.88 math from 4.51 math to 7.39 math. Besides, it is expected that after raising the height of the Mangla Dam by 30 feet, the powerhouse will generate 12% additional energy per year which will increase its installed capacity from 1000 MW to 1120 MW. The Mangla Dam Raising Project, however, has affected more than 40,000 people living in vicinity of the dam. The total cost of compensation and resettlement was rupees. 70 billion. The resettlement project includes the construction of new Mirpur city, four satellite towns, Islamgar, Chakswari, Dadyal, Sayak, with all civic amenities, the Mirpur bypass and two bridges across River Jhelum and Bong Canal respectively. A motorbike passes over the Don Galley Bridge, a recently constructed bridge on River Jhelum near the Mangla Dam. Mangla Powerhouse Expansion Project Ambassador Olson with WAPTA Chairman Bledgen Yu said support. In November 2012, United States announced a grant of $150 million for the expansion of the Mangla Dam powerhouse. Under the project, $400 million would be spent on the Mangla Dam powerhouse which is estimated to provide additional production for the next 40 years. The project, when complete, will increase the power generation capacity of the Mangla Dam to 1,310 MW from the existing 1,000 MW capacity. The dam was further expanded in era of Paravez Musharraf but it did not enhance the capacity of electric generation except increasing the level of water in the dam. 